Garden Waldorf School started in the 1980s with a group of families in Akron who were looking for a different kind of education for their children. So these families started this school in the basement of their home with some of the parents doing the teaching and it has grown from there to a school with 170 students um, in a public school building that we purchased about 15 years ago and we serve children from the age of three up through eighth grade. It has a core curriculum in reading and writing and math and science and history, but it also has the well-roundedness of the arts. So the children all experience choral music, instrumental music, um, painting, sculpting, drawing, a gym class, um, two foreign languages, handwork, woodworking. Um, so it's a very well-rounded education. In Waldorf schools, the kids make their own lesson books instead of learning from a traditional textbook. So the teacher presents the information to them and in the early grades tells them exactly what to put into their lesson book. So they're copying from the board to the book. But as they get older, it'll turn into um, an exercise in how to take notes from the story that they're hearing, which is actually a lecture as they get older. And then that information is gone over with the teacher and put into their books. We say that our commitment here is to get to educate children so that they will go out into the world with creative thinking, um, morals, compassion, and courage. This is our handwork room. Handwork is something specific to Waldorf education and it's teaching children to work with their hands. So it's learning to knit and crochet, embroider, um, sew, and our goal is not to teach the children to become knitters or sewers per se, but it's really to help support their academics and get their minds to think in a different way. It's really to connect the brain synapses in their minds through a creative art. So it's wonderful for the young children. It helps with their eye tracking from left to right for reading. It helps with simple math because they're adding and subtracting their stitches. And as they get older, and they're going from making something in 2D to something in 3D. It helps with their geometry. So if they're learning about geometry in fifth grade and they're sewing together a 12-piece ball, they're really getting to see the geometry and how those pieces all fit together. The curriculum is very integrated with the handwork so that they are doing something that they're learning about. This is our woodworking room. Woodworking is something we teach in Waldorf education. In our school, we teach it from fifth through eighth grade. And our goal in the woodworking class is not to teach the children to become carpenters, but it's really to teach them will and perseverance. So their first project is usually a mouse that they make out of a block of wood. Their second project is a spoon because the back of the spoon is shaped like the top of a mouse. And then they learn how to excavate the inside of the spoon. The third project is a bowl and they are offered a lot of creative license. We'll have bowls that look like leaves or have multiple different sections to them. Some are round, some are square, some have lids. The final project is my favorite and it's they make a chair and the chair project starts with a log that's dropped off in the field outside and the students go out with two man saws and saw it into workable pieces and when they're done and they put their chairs together so we have the seats to the chairs and handwork, and then each student in eighth grade will have a chair to sit on at graduation and take home with them. So it's a year-long project with you know a wonderful outcome at the end. And what the students notice in that project is that when they take their chair home, they really have a piece of each of their classmates in the chair because they have pieces that came from everybody's work. So it's beautiful in many ways. This year, we are partnering with St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Akron, they put on a community meal that's free once a week for all who come. And we're donating the proceeds from our gardening program to them to use in the community meals. We have a garden that the whole school helps to plant and maintain. And we have a greenhouse where they can start seeds early and those will go into the garden. It's teaching them science. It's teaching them about gardening. It's teaching them where their food comes from. It's teaching them about healthy eating and what's real food and what's not real food.